Myself Dr. Gibran Ahmad presents to you Simply Pathology and today we are back with a very important video. Today we are going to see the live demonstration of bone marrow aspiration. First, the patient has to be informed about the procedure in details in their own regional language and an informed consent has to be taken from the patient. Very importantly, you have to position the patient. The patient is made to lie on one side with the knees and the hips flexed so that the posterior superior iliac spine is clearly exposed. The procedure has to be carried under strict aseptic and antiseptic precaution. We use alcohol and betadine. Whatever we use, we have to start cleaning from the center towards the periphery as you can see in this diagram. Usually, we are giving three layers of protection. So, first layer we are protecting with alcohol. Then we are giving a layer of betadine. And in the end, as you can appreciate in this diagram, that we are cleaning from the center towards the periphery with alcohol. After having localized the posterior superior iliac spine, we now give local anesthesia. Now very importantly, before infiltrating the periosteum, we first infiltrate the skin, the dermis as you can appreciate over here. Now once you infiltrate the dermis, there will be a bulge over the skin. Now very importantly, now what we are doing is that we are infiltrating the periosteum with the local anesthesia as you can appreciate over here in this particular video. Now after having anesthetized the patient, now once you take out the needle, you have to make sure that you mark the area, else after this particular infiltration, you might forget the particular site. After waiting for 2-3 to three minutes for the anesthesia to take effect, now we are going to perform the bone marrow aspiration with the help of bone marrow aspiration needle. Now the BME needle as you can appreciate is inserted uh, by this to and fro motion. First we pierce the periosteum and we further it till we cross the cortex of the bone with the help of this to and fro motion. Now this motion has to be continued till the bone marrow aspiration needle gets fixed as we can appreciate now. Now after having fixed the bone marrow aspiration needle, we are now going to use a syringe by taking out the stylet. We are going to insert the syringe very fast and then we are going to aspirate. As you can appreciate, the bone marrow aspiration is being done and we have to take care to aspirate only the first 0.5 to 1 ml to prevent any kind of dilution. Now as fast as possible, we have to make the smears as you can appreciate in this particular clip. Now this is to prevent any kind of clotting. Now as you can appreciate that we are making the smear by the classical wedge method. Now it is very important that classically we make a lot of slides. Ideally, routinely, we perform Romanovsky stains like the Lishman Giamsa and along with that routinely we also perform the iron stain. Now, as we are performing this procedure at this point of time, we have to make sure that one person is pressing at the site of the procedure to achieve adequate hemostasis. Thank you for watching this particular video.